guys welcome to another commentary done by a diggity upper left hand corner we got urban by the way if i am guessing as far as upload timing of this this is likely new year's eve or new year's one of the two so either way happy new year's to everybody uh if you're watching this much much later as part of a playlist just have the retrospective whatever as a part of it upper left hand corner we got urban staying uh, <laughs> playing as the gray zerg bottom left hand corner we got mitek starting as the teal zerg this is bsl Season 17, round of 16, Group B, opening match between Urban and Mitek. Mitek, trying to think, maybe is, I'm, I'm trying to think what his best performance thus far. He's gone deep previously in Oz League, if my memory serves, but I'm wondering if he's made it past a, semi, a quarterfinal or a semifinal. I don't remember him making it to a final four, or a f and I'm, I know he's not made it to a finals, and if he has, wow, my memory is lapsing. Regardless, Overlord Scout is going to be to neither player's advantage, and the Overlords are going to cross each other's positions. That worked well for Urban. Definitely gave him some good information game one. I was a little bit concerned for him because of the lateness of that evolution chamber. I do trust his ZVZ because ZVZ is actually very, very solid. But regardless, with the spare Zerglings he had, despite the double Sutton Colony, because the positioning of the Sutton Colony was a little bit too far out and not under protective... not under the protective shielding or DPS of the two something colonies, Urban able to snipe that and potentially with some follow-up evolution chamber something colony or I should say evolution chambers with some spores and some zergling shen shenanigans that would have potentially taxed Mitek. Mitek upon losing the spire just GG'd right there. Although he was at a severe I will say this, he was definitely at a severe economic advantage. I will say I don't know that that was unwinnable for him. He might have been able to move in and get some uh, drone kills to equalize things or maybe try to turn it into a base trade situation something along those lines anyway uh that being said <laughs> missing the build orders overall looks like we have an interior 11 hatch for mid tech which suggests he's going to get very very aggressive with drones to start I, it looks like we had i think an over pool actually might have been a nine pool here from urban should have paid a little bit more attention he's pulling some drones off gas and he's going to tech to layer as far as a follow-up, we'll see if he jumps, uh, ju uh, drops a sunk colony. Can't spit it out all of a sudden. He's produced the initial Zerglings. I believe this was nine. So making his Zerglings head this direction. Actually, he knows exactly where to go to because that Overlord positioning. This might be a disaster for Mitek because I believe he's going to be able to produce Zerglings. But usually you just delay a little bit to get more Zerglings out. And this is certainly going to negate Mitek's larva advantage at least in the early stages because he's going to have to play on the defense to start and urban's going to be able to crawl and he's going to be able to see that interior base second hatchery usually the advantage of this is the fact that it's just not spotted he's just now getting that additional larva so it's going to be four and he has to drop yeah he has to drop the defensive uh, creep colony on top of everything else so urban ending up with the economic lead is working away at the spawning pool recognizing the timing of that that's forcing the drones off the line and the drones aren't going to be there in time and this is i gotta say urban zvz sometimes very very sharp able to take that out not only is that going to delay additional zergling production completely negating the second hatchery advantage that's also going to delay any sort of movement towards layer tech so this game is all but one now for urban with that one maneuver and mitak might have i honestly almost feel like there's a building placement such a issue on the map if you had placed it the south it might not have been such a catastrophic deal instead urban dealing immense amounts of damage and he's already got his spire on the way huge victory for him and he can go ahead and glide. he doesn't even need to keep this overlord here he's going to though just to kind of scout things out all mitek can do in the meantime is build drones and he's currently at what is that a four five five drone disadvantage overall so a single sunken colony with the spire timing basically that spire is going to be up by the time mitak is able to produce additional zerglings on top of that urban is going to be able to spot how many zerglings are going to be produced as far as a follow-up he could sneak drones if he wants to he doesn't need to he can still build additional zerglings and just seal up that seal up this edge and if he seals up that edge as soon as that spire is finished he can just yeah leave this overlord here hydralist end getting dropped from mitek as far as an attempted follow-up so this is going to be interesting side play and urban sneaking a hatchery at the 12 o'clock location out of mitek's view this is going to turn into a crazy one. All right, so Hydralist end dropping. Now, part of the problem with the Hyd and Mitak did manage to get the single drone lead with that. Overall supply lead is in Urban's favor, likely because of these Mutalisks constructing. Keep in mind, Mutalisks end up just covering more supply. So Urban actually opting to play this more defensively rather than aggressively. It looks like an evolution chamber also getting dropped. 
the Overlord making its way out, but Urban is going to have a second base up much more rapidly. And from mid tax point of view, he's feeling like he's just going to get run over by Mutalisks. And now do the Mutalisks stay? It looks like, yeah, they're just going to work on the near side Overlord. Get that kill. And they might even be able to go up. Okay, this is going to force some additional drones, potentially. They still might be able to go up and force a few more drones to be uh, forced into spore colonies to defend the base. This is still a lot of surface area that is currently not defended. Midtech, all of us at the moment, has the drone lead. Ironically enough, despite everything that happened, I guess that kind of makes sense considering you could only build drones for a good portion. Plus one weapons now growing. Now Urban, yeah, can just test the edges of this. He's got all sorts of surface area to work against. He can just start attacking that extractor. Yeah, this is just brutal. Yeah, you can just tack away at this. That's going to cancel gas. The Mutalisks are not out yet. Really, a Mutalisk or two was needed. Part of the problem with going Mutalisk is you need uh, a raw amount that is going to be able to attack heads up versus the Mutalisks. Urban might want to just hold these on hold position. But with that gas down, that's going to negate all of the tech as well. Granted, there's still the spore colonies to work with. But right now, for mid tech, what it is, it's a race to get... Uh, first of all, get some gas out so that you can get some hydralis and just build enough so that you can negate some of the damage and even the, the the bounce of the glaive getting some additional damage here from Urban. So the gas is gone. Now working on that sunken colony, which is also giving some bounce to some of the... Wow, actually might even get some additional bonus kills overall. Hitting the Zerglings here, softening them up as well. And we have that 12 o'clock base up, which is going to get saturated behind everything else. And... On top of this, the Mutalist count continuing to grow. So three Idolists attempting to get constructed. That might provide some support. But again, this is all delayed. Mitak briefly had that drone advantage. It's not really working out. Now the, and a Zergling dying on top of that. So now the Mule's trying to make its way out. But this is massive amounts of map control for Urban. He's already grabbing that second gas at the 12 o'clock location. And Mitak, if he's going to go for it, you'd have to go now. And right now, Urban has way a massive supply lead and all of these mutalisks this is plenty to potentially one shot the hydralisks and once that plus one weapons is finished which is going to happen in just a second they're going to hit all the harder another overlord potentially getting picked off it's and some zerglings nice micro here from urmon yeah working on the hydralisks while they're not in sufficient numbers but the problem for Mittac is he can't back off here because he ends up losing too much. Another creep colony attempting to get dropped. That 12 o'clock base now in operation. Urban isn't even bothering with the gas as of yet. And oof, yeah, GG. Urban just really crushing it there all the way. Might have worked out in a different scenario for Mittac, but regardless, Urban will advance to the winner's round. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.